Oh, that one. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah, grizzle. So it's like silver and black or something? Yeah. Wow, that but is... not all of them are like that, so I don't know what yeah, makes it a grizzle. Like, that sure. one's pretty, too. It must be the streaking on it, maybe? Yes, it, it is supposed to be the the body and then the... Like a paint stroke. That's a oh. crown tail. That's yeah, that's totally a crown tail. Yeah. Can it be that? Like, can it be a cross? <laughs> I don't know. We're playing around with getting different ones right now. You know, sometimes I go to stores just to find bycatch, like with, with Danios. Oh, yeah. I've gotten so many Danios at stores that are something hard to find that just got tossed in. Oh, yeah. Which is good for me, I guess. That's how the uh, Somfongzi Rasbora was brought back. Yeah? Yeah, they were down to three of them, and a German guy noticed 40 years after they went extinct in the wild in Bangkok. He noticed that there was bycatch coming into uh, Aquarium Glazer, yeah. and it was the fish his dad had named, so oh, wow. he knew about it offhand. And they spawned from three, and now they're back in the hobby. So, oh, kind of a cool story. Jack Dempsey's another one, 15-year-olds, 13-year-old boys. Yeah. If you have a cool big tank, I mean, whatever, but for me, it's just angry fish. <laughs> Is what? My new favorite fish. Oh, yeah. I have new favorite fish, like, at least once a month. Yeah, yeah. But that's my new favorite. Oh, the parrot convict? Yeah. Yeah. I just think they're cute. So I'm raising up some uh, uh, Honduran red spots right now that are a hybrid of some sort. That yeah. They're kind of pretty. But I don't know what of. I mean, I just got them at the aquarium shop, and he was like, hey, you want these? I don't know what they are, but they happened in this tank. There's, there's people over in Japan and stuff playing around. But they don't tell anybody what they really are. Right, well, and especially like Taiwan and uh, they don't have any copyright laws, so yeah. they don't trust anyone to, you know, they can't say what they're working on or that someone else will do it. Exactly. Do you well, guys... Do you, a lot of the good things we get are just males. They won't send us females. I was wondering if that starts at this level or... Yep. Yeah, yeah, okay. And then same with like um, Dario Dario Battis, uh, Scarlet Battis. I no, only... Scarlet Battis. Um, we didn't both. Um, Dario Dario's, we've had our, our um, first batch last week, week four, that we've had in like over a year. Okay. So, those are a little bit harder. Yeah, I was just curious because the females, I hunt for them and then keep them, and, and I've bred them now successfully a few times. These uh, Neolamprologus are really beautiful. Uh, on the other side, you oh, had yeah. some, and then oh, these are great. Yeah. We just saw. I just I just filmed these guys spawning, my friend's house actually. The those gold Austral ones, or the uh, Gardenerai gold ones. Those yeah. are really beautiful too. So, do you guys import then from all over Africa and things like that too? That's not my jellyfish actually coming from China. Okay, that makes sense. Puffers. Ceylon, Ceylon puffers, that's really cool. Yeah, so a Sri Lankan cool. puffer. Saddle puffer, I've, I have not seen that. So they're a little less puffery shaped. Yeah, they're more long and flat. Yeah, that's cool. I, I mean, you know, there's maybe eight puffers that people see in the hobby on a regular yeah. basis. Luckily, I live in a town where a bunch of people have maboos and stuff. Wow, I, I've never seen this fish here. Do these... Uh, Oh, okay. This is our brackish one. Oh, brackish. System. Okay. So, when they're young like that, you can keep them brackish, but when they get bigger, they're better in salt. Okay, that makes sense, yeah. Yeah, dojo loaches, garamis. So, do you tend to keep the garamis in brackish too, then? Or all. Yeah, all, they, yeah. We actually have high salt level and all, all of our systems. Sure. Um, People don't realize how high of a salt level you can keep. And it's a good thing for the fish in most cases. Yeah, especially on these fish, they yeah. have, you know, they're a cheaper fish. Sure. They get imported two, three hundred in the same big bag. Sure. So they have ammonia burns and things like that. And if yep. you salt them really heavy, it keeps infection and stuff from the Yeah. Skin. Lots of goldfish, huh? Oh, yeah. I think I... Wow. Wow. These mollies are really nice. They've sure gotten the colors down in the last 20 oh, yeah. years. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that's beautiful. Any cool? Yeah. So what do you just call that an oranda, or do you specialize yeah, it beyond that? Okay. Now on the big ones we just call it assorted. Yeah. Because of course more money. The smaller ones we have divided by color, and you can even order these by color if you want to. But yeah, I know the Chinese are like so particular about what it means, oh my God. you know. So. Yes. Sometimes I'll see a fish and I'm like, that's incredible. And they're like, it's worth nothing because, you know, it's got seven spots instead of eight. Right. So. Yeah, because if we can get black and white ones, we can get like twice and we don't because yeah. we're wholesale. But they pay like twice the money. Yeah. And they would put just like that black one there. Yeah. It's weird. It's really weird. It's a feng shui slash, you know, superstition, cultural thing. Oh, these are cool. I know they're common, but sometimes I find the coolest common stuff, you know? Are these... Sometimes you can see really cool stuff in there. Yeah, I mean, do you get... Uh, are these mostly out of, like, Thailand, Indonesia, that yeah. kind of place? Yeah. Big, open outdoor farms. Yeah, they used to be raised here in Florida. I know. I was reading that, you know, 700 family farms were in Florida in 1968. Yeah. And now there's 100. Or so I'd they be don't know. If there was a still. Well, and how they're counting, it's really weird. Like that's a hobbyist rather than a, you yeah. know, it just means someone who has a license. I bet, I guess. That's cool though. Wow, you have a lot of different kinds of goldfish. That's really impressive. So, are the freshwater fish as a whole a lot easier to deal with than the saltwater fish? For it really depends on fish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Thank you so much for taking the time to show me too. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So what they do is they look in the bag or look in the bucket, make sure everything looks good, decide what size bag they're going to wear, bag them up, and there's two coming out of straight oxygen, fill it up, and take the tie inside. They're quick. Yeah, that's when they need help, that's where I usually get stuck. But they put the tags on them and then she checks them off to make sure the right fish go in the right order. So she knows all the species pretty well then, huh? That's one of the few people that's been here longer than me. <laughs> she actually helped train. That's but awesome. Yeah, she could tell you more about this than I do. That's awesome. Boy, have I seen this box a lot in my life. Thank you, Carol. This is Benji. Benji is the heart of Seeger's heart. How are you doing? He makes Hello. sure everything goes where it's supposed to go. Very cool. So do you want to see salt water? Sure, why not? <laughs> right now I want to kill him. <laughs> ah, one of those days. Do you guys do plants too? Good. I love plants. I'm a plant nerd, so. We don't do plants as well as I wish we did. I mean, some of them are big money, like, you know, the Pinto Anubius, Petite Nana, and but, stuff like that. I mean, on the wholesale level, why not? These but. are like a pod plant. Yeah. But most of our plants... Plants, yeah. The pot plants and the bunch plants. Yeah. And so, keep them cool. Yeah, keep them. Should I close that door behind me? No, we're going to go right back up okay. as soon as I find a plant. Oh, yeah, so yeah, Cardinal yeah, Lobelia, right. something like that. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. All right. We'll lock her back. <laughs> the problem with these guys yeah. is when they grow them, they grow them. And that much water. Immersed, yeah. Yeah, so these are, so when you put them in an aquarium. Submerged to immerse, yeah. All this dies. Yeah, the, the melt. So if you don't have the right light and filtration and filter, or, yeah, what do I think of? Fertilizer? Yeah. CO2 maybe. That's it. Yeah. They won't go back. I have so, CO2 on all my, you know, aquascape tanks and yeah. ferts every day. I and, wish that tissue culture would take off better. So. That's that's one of my jobs is yeah. I'm sourcing tissue cultures from around the world right now and we've got yeah. 300 varieties. Really? Yeah, my buddy owns a company and I'm that's part of the reason why I'm in Florida right now. What's he, what's the name of the company? 
It's just called tissuecultureheadquarters.com. He launched last week, but he's yeah. been traveling the world for a decade for a different job, and it's been his hobby. And he literally called in all his favors and was like, can you hook me up? And he's coming out of Eastern Europe. He's got a lab, but he's going to start making them here in the U.S. Uh, he just he couldn't beat the price at the volume that he's doing as he starts. Yeah. But he wants to make it all made in the U.S., you know, sustainably. Oh, yeah. You know, get that boost of philandra and stuff like that. Uh, well, tell him when he gets production going. Yeah. Contact us. I will. I will. That's good to know because fan kind of, you know, shines all over everyone sometimes. Oh, yeah. 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 I mean, the one, two, three grow or whatever yeah. cups. Is that the kind of stuff you yeah. were looking at? Yeah. Oh, wow. And I don't know why they don't give a pan, but they don't want to give a pan. There's so many crazy and politics and everything. Is too small. Sure. I know. That's the irony of it all. This is just coin. So, this is kind of, I mean, do you still pick from here frequently, or yeah, is, is this it. This is a... where we keep the coin. Okay. The room we came through is just a feeder room. Do you, ha do you happen to have any of like your higher end koi? Because I, I know nothing about koi. I was yeah, just curious I if. Know. Yeah. Um, just yeah. So pretty much all we have is assorted. So you guys try not to keep oh, a back stock, right? Like, no. yeah. No, the way our systems are set up with a preventative medication and everything. Yeah. If anything's here like longer than ten days, it'll actually start breaking the fish down. Got it. So you have to be careful. Sure. With that. So it's like a turn and burn yeah. kind of. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Makes well, sense. Get them in, make sure they're good and healthy. Yeah. And then, and then it's up to the, your aquarium shops to Q, QT or the buyer or whatever, you know, to, again, yeah. to make sure. Because people forget, you know, how <laughs> how dirty fish are. <laughs> so, is this all salt water? This is salt water. Yeah. Inverts mostly, but we're doing stuff so we won't put Yeah, out. yeah, no worries. Are there fish salt water? Oh, wow. This side is actually acclimation. We uh -huh. can actually test the water of fish when they come in uh -huh. and match their water almost exactly. Cool. So we run them through. It's clean water, but it's what they're in water. Yeah. Um, and then we'll slowly switch them over to our water. Is that a, like how long of a process does that it usually take? It really depends take? upon how long the fish have been in the bags and been in transit. If it's like one of our Atlantic vendors, it's only a few hours. Yeah. We can do it in as short as, I think, three hours. Wow, that's awesome. Um, if it's one from overseas that's been delayed and been in transit 48 hours or more, we can make it last 24 hours. Sure. So, whatever the fish need. Cool. What we do. And so, are you able to keep a pretty uh, steady temperature in these places, or does it yeah, does it spike? All of our systems are on chillers. Okay. And they're automatic chillers. Nice. So whenever the temperature fluctuates, they kick on. That's cool. Oh yeah, we actually have twelve uh, backup generators around the farm, so we don't even lose power. Wow, twelve backup generators. Yeah. That. Big I mean, it's no joke. Yeah. Big, huge monsters. Yeah. And they kick on once a month just to make just sure Just to test working. them. You know, I mean, I think a lot of times people would come in and they'd see hold stickers and they'd be like, why are all the fish sick? That's awesome, though, that somebody oh, yeah. noticed yeah, that, that no. your fish are, they're, you know, it's not going to go out. They get medicated and they get treated. And yeah. That's cool. Uh, even if it's like sometimes we'll get deformed fish. Sure. Like that night fish, and those make them a B grade and sell them at a discount. That's cool. So how does a, uh, like, <laughs> this is a fun tank for these guys. Yeah. It, are there like, you know, 200 in there sometimes? Or um, is it just because that's... no a... more than 100 in there. 200 would be kind of pushing it. Yeah. This is, uh, you know, everyone's new favorite again, too. I yeah. mean, I know that much, but... Wow, there's some really intense ones. Wyoming white clown fish. Wyoming, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they call them the, Wyoming white. The breeder, probably, or probably. something? about as far as from the ocean from a tropical ocean as you could get yeah I like these guys yeah the black ones. it just blows my mind how many clownfish there are now in the trade oh yeah when Hurricane Andrew hit down in 